Welcome to my easy to follow and vivo how to videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to autocode focus group interviews or even the pair interviews to assign each case to its demographic attributes. Here is how to do it. Now in our example project here, I need to go to the data. So I'll go into the data folder and of course under the files I have got three focus group interviews. I call it focus group because they are more than one person. So we have Marie and Daniela. Just open it. This is a couple that were interviewed by Elizabeth. And if I open the second um, couple interview, you will notice that, that the interviewer is called Henry. Um, so this is a typical scenario that you may come across. Now, because previously we have organized the data in such a way that each speaker in the interview folder have been assigned to their demographic attribute like gender, age group and all the others. We want to add the focus group interviewees. In this case, we have three couples, so we expect six individuals to join the list of um, the cases who have got the assignment. Now to do that, there is a very nifty little um, command called autocode. So we're going to use the autocode here. We need to select all the documents that we um, want to autocode. But before I move on, let me just explain one thing. Autocode, like table of contents, it depends on the um, the way that you have formatted the document. And these documents were formatted with hidden styles. So if I click on, click to edit, just to show you, you can see that that is formatted as hidden one. But the speakers, which is the interviewees, Maria is um, formatted as heading two and all the interviewees are heading two. So Maria and Daniel are heading two. Therefore, we're going to use this heading styles to autocode the three interviews. So I will go backwards and highlight the three interviews. So I've got the three of them highlighted and I'm going to right mouse click to drop down um, the menu and then I will go for auto code because we have formatted the data based on head and styles we will go into the paragraph styles and then we will go for nest now here we are reminded the different variation of format styles in the three documents but we are only interested in the speakers who are all set on the same head and style too. So we will send the head and style into the selected paragraph style that we want to focus in using to autocode the speakers. So we click on Nest and in this box we are asked to direct the software to the folder where the cases needs to be um, stored and of course we previously have got an existing folder which is this folder here in the cases area so we come back into existing folder selection and then we tell the software that that folder is called cases that's all we need to do and then we click on ok and then finish it so what we have done is if we go back into the folder under the cases called cases, I want to close this so my screen can be clean. You notice that all those who were in the system before from Alicia all the way to Susan, they already have access to the classification table. But the six individuals who we have split from three focus group or couple document, which is six of them from here, Patricia, all the way to Daniel, 
they don't have access to the demographic table. So we're going to right mouse click and then look down to the classification and allow them to see the participant demographic sheet which we created earlier. So all of them will be in, in the cases. Now, how do we then see what we have done in the table? So we go back into the classification sheet, which is this sheet, and we double click on the participant, which is the only sheet we've done. Now, the those who we have just added, we have not given them the assignments. I recall Maria is one of them. In the interest of time, I haven't done all the assignments and Mary is a female. So that's how you would do it. I hope this has been useful. Very quick, what we have done is it's very necessary if we wanted each speaker to have connection to the demographic attribute like gender, age group, role and location. So the only way we can establish this is to free them from the group so they can be individual with what they have said or their contribution. And that is how we, we, we kind of sort it out within this Excel, Excel spreadsheet database, which is behind the system. So that's it. If you have any question, you know where to go. Just ask me and I'll demonstrate it again to you or answer your question. And thanks for watching.